Hey Mallards, it is somehow simultaneously Thursday, which means that like the week is almost over, but simultaneously also only Thursday, which means I have a whole nother day of work left. And that is a dichotomy that is strange and annoying. But what is not annoying, although maybe still strange, is the amazing gift that I received today from Mary. So we're going to sort of unbox this. I'm not going to show you all of it. So this is Gallery in a Box by Laura Zombie. It is a collection of 64 art cards. I will flip through them, but I'm not probably gonna focus on all 64. I put the ones I like the best towards the top and we'll uh, look at those. This is something that Mary saw in a Facebook ad. Remember that time we went through five of my Facebook ads as a video because I had no other ideas? That was a good time. Turns out Facebook ads work on people besides me. We won't discuss the two things I kickstarted because we went through my Facebook ads for a video. Sometimes it's nice to know that Mary and I are so similar in that we are both impulse buyers and have no self-control. Uh, but for me, that's a very lucky thing because Mary got me this gallery in a box. So I was mostly excited because I was like, oh yes, art I can touch. But also it's very pretty. So it is a whole set of 64 cards that I'm just gonna flip out here. One of the coolest things is that they all appear to be like they could be postcards. They have these cute little doodles on the back and space for an address and space to write on some of them. We'll look at a few uh, in a little bit that don't have that much space, but you could put the stamp here. But I kind of like that. So I might send some of these as postcards if you leave a comment here, then I will send you one of these as a postcard, guaranteed. So comment and I'll uh, message you for your address and I'll send you one as a postcard. Cause I don't get very many comments. Maybe this is how it happens. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the pretty fronts of these cards. Uh, so this one, you can see all the broken pieces of a guitar and what clearly is like these flowers, but they look like bullets. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Yeah. Uh, but Vex and I both immediately thought that this was Bucky Barnes. So we have that going for us. Um, we are predictable people. <laughs> this one <laughs> made me giggle and it still makes me giggle. Because it's just a T-Rex with very wings <laughs> and a little one and it says meow. <laughs> funny and it shouldn't be that funny but it is and this is one of the ones that has like a pencil sketch version of the art on the back which I think is pretty cool uh these next two are my favorites in the whole set and is a tiny girl and her giant robot and I love a tiny girl and a giant robot I made a tiny girl and a giant robot in a D&D &D campaign once and then that campaign only lasted two chefs wow words two sessions and that was incredibly sad for me i'd love to bring her back this one is a dragon i like dragons and this uh child sitting on the skull inside of the world it's so pretty the art on this is just really really gorgeous and like the right mixture of like beautiful macabre that i really like this one is Vex's favorite. I can tell by how excitedly I was squeezed when it appeared. This lady with the spiders and the crows. And these are her ribs and like her backbone, which is tougher to tell in the color drawing. But if you flip over to the black and white, like it's very obvious that this is just her rib cage, which I think is cool. I like this one. It says, tomorrow we're going to be stardust. And it's these two people like made of stars. Oh, so pretty. This is the one that made Vex laugh a lot. It is this knight cowering. And it says, send help, send help, send help. As he's being attacked by a <laughs> rainbow. And really cute. Let's see. Listen to Vex go. Vex still thinks it's funny. Mm -hmm. Just as much as I enjoyed the T-Rex. This is Vex. Uh, I like this unicorn in the midst of the chess pieces. 
This one says, welcome to yourself. And it's this like black and white yin and yang sort of reflection that I like. I love this one. It says, when you can't stay punk, just stay punk. And I just really love this tiny punk child. The birds in her hair. Uh, this is just really, really, really great. I kept this one because it's a giraffe. And my nieces love giraffes. And I like this like staircase to the moon that is partially a giraffe. There's this girl with the stars and the planets and all these little wolves. I just really like the colors here. This sort of like galaxy watercolor feel. I picked this one because something about a bluebird standing on a grenade is funny to me. This is my sense of humor, guys. Welcome to it. I got a lion and a bird. Uh, this is the cover image. So it's the like... Oh, what kind of flower? This is a daisy. The daisy girl and her rainbow. I like this because of the pretty colors in this space, but also a girl and a panda and a killer whale. Wow. It's just got all the great things in it. I like this girl because she's like the sea. Look at the water here and there's a ship and a whale. I like this sort of like mixture of a person in the ocean. And this kitty is just cute. And it's got a lot of splatter paint. Plus, it's just adorable. What a cute kitty. Um, I picked this one because it reminds me of my nieces. This girl's obviously very sad, but I really like the, like, just singular unicorn one in this lineup. I think it's a fun piece of art. I also really, really like this kid. Rawr! And then the giant bear. This makes me think of the His Dark Material series where you have a demon or daemon. I don't know how they say it. Uh, that like your like soul is an animal companion. I feel like this is this kid's soul. And we got a little boy kissing the stars. This is another one of the ones that has the black and white on the background. So those are the ones that are my favorite. Uh, I'm just going to continue to flip through these as I finish up this video. But I just really, really, really enjoy, first off, art like this because I feel like it tells a bunch of different stories. I like the style of this art a lot. I like the colors that are used. I like the mixture of like humorous and like serious scenes that are on all of these different cards. Like I feel like I got a lot of variety along with getting a lot of really, really pretty art. And it reminds me a little bit of Dixit, the game that I like to play where there's just art that you can then like tell stories about. Cause I do want to tell stories about some of this. That used to be a pastime of mine was finding art on like Deviant art, or there was this webpage called Worth 1000 that did like contests every once in a while. I used to spend a lot of time on there looking at art, and then uh, I would take pieces that I liked and write short stories about them. And that's a habit I should get back into because looking at all of these, like, I want to write short stories about several of these. Maybe I will. Maybe that's the next challenge. 64 cards. 64 short stories. I don't know what the one about the T-Rex that says meow is going to be like, but uh, it could definitely exist. You know, I've, I've got plenty of things to write about. This makes me think of a fairy tale that I literally just read about a girl whose brothers turn into ravens and then she has to cut off her finger to save them. Fairy tales are macabre. I don't know if you're aware. Uh, wow. These are just really fun. Like there's just a lot of fun art and different colors here and all sorts of stories that you could tell. And that's uh, one of the things that I appreciate. You know, people, the whole point of Worth 1000 is like a picture is worth a thousand words. 
Uh, and that might be true, but sometimes I also like to write those words. This one says, empty and destroyed, but still shining bright, which is funny. I also like this one because it says, know that a demon's watching over you, my love. And I think that that's hilarious and very comforting. This one says, welcome to earth. Oof, man, especially in 2020, I feel like this is accurate. There's another one of those dragons. And we're back to the beginning with the guy who definitely isn't Bucky Barnes, but uh, that's what we all think. So it's who he is from here on out. I hope you enjoyed looking at this beautiful art. I will do a quick search. So there will be a link down in the description if you want to get a set like this of your own or any of the other things that the artist has available. Now that you've seen how pretty it is, maybe you'll be into it. And I'm gonna think about stories. I'll see you tomorrow.